In this video, we're going to look at redox table building. Redox table building um, constructs a half, half reaction table, and they're always listed as reduction half reactions. You have an example of an extended half reaction table in your data booklet here, and you'll notice that all of these electrode potentials or half reactions are written as reductions. So all of these are gaining electrons in the reactants. And this is organized so that the strongest oxidizing agents are listed on the left hand side, going down to weakest oxidizing agents, strongest reducing agents go to weakest reducing agents. Now we've seen GER and LEO, but uh, the gain of electrons reduction the chemical that is gaining electrons and is reduced is causing oxidation. So it is my oxidizing agent and the chemical that is losing electrons or oxidized is my reducing agent. Agent meaning that it causes that thing. So if it's gaining electrons and is reduced, it's also causing oxidation. If it's losing electrons and oxidized, it's causing reduction. So that's what GER OA and LEO RA means you're going to see that every time I'm writing these things in the future, I'm going to include the OARA because a common question is which chemical is the oxidizing agent, which one's the reducing agent. If you know what's reduced, that's the oxidizing agent. If you know what's oxidized, that's the reducing agent. So I'm going to set up a half reaction table here and it's going to be reduction half reactions. Now we've done a lab now where um, we've done a similar sort of thing, uh, so redu reduction half reactions, and we're going to set our table up so that we have the strongest oxidizing agent going from the to the weakest oxidizing agent, and these are going to be half reactions, they're reductions. So which of these chemicals are reduced? Well, the more positive is going to be reduced, so copper 2 is more positive than copper, iodine is more uh, positive than iodide. So these are my oxidizing agents. They're going to gain electrons and are reduced. These chemicals over here are going to lose electrons and be oxidized. Those are my reducing agents. And what I want to do is I want to look for the oxidizing agent that is most reactive with the reducing agents. So you see the bromine reacted with three different chemicals. Bromine and bromide won't spontaneously react. Um, so you were looking for some sort of evidence of reaction, you've done the lab so you should have an idea what that might look like, a color change or um, perhaps gas being produced or something like that. Usually it's a color change. Um, so bromine is my strongest oxidizing agent. Bromine plus two electrons is going to make um, two bromides. And that's my strongest oxidizing agent because it reacted with the most things. Silver reacted with two and iodine reacted with one and copper two didn't react with any. So my next most reactive chemical is silver and silver ion plus an electron makes silver solid. And this is my second most, second strongest oxidizing agent. The iodine is my next strongest, so plus two electrons, makes two iodide ions. And my finally, my copper two is my weakest oxidizing agent in this reaction scenario. So my copper is going to be, my copper two is my weakest oxidizing agent. It's listed at the bottom of this. But copper, if you notice, the copper metal reacted with three different things. So it is my strongest reducing agent. Remember that it was a reducing agent because it's losing electrons. And then if I look at bromine or bromide, bromide as a reducing agent was my weakest reducing agent. So this table is set up so that it's half reduction, half reactions. My strongest oxidizing agent, the most reactive goes at the top. My weakest oxidizing agent, it goes at the bottom. And then if I go to the other side and we're instead to read these reactions going the other way, this is my strongest reducing agent. This is my weakest reducing agent. Okay, so 
Um, we're going to use these half reaction tables um, and we'll see another way to construct a reduction half reaction table in the next video. This is sort of the basics. They can show this information in a few different ways. They might have um, spontaneous for this, non-spont for this. There, um, there are a few ways that they can try to show you whether there was evidence of a reaction or not. But the basic idea is you list your strongest oxidizing agent, fill its half reaction in, down to your weakest oxidizing agent, the least reactive oxidizing agent should be at the bottom. And then if you are uh, looking at the other side, going backwards, these are reducing agents.